I take cordyceps every day and it changed my life. It is phenomenal and I'd recommend it to everybody. It's famously used by athletes and people wishing to have more strength, energy and vitality and endurance, more athletic performance or else it's more life performance. It's also very good for sexual performance. It's a very well known, potent sexual tonic that's good for our, our, our sexual organs and system and reproductive system. It was first discovered <clears throat> by the goats up in the Himalayas because they became more youthful and more vigorous and more energetic. So that's how you, they're having more, more of that stuff. So. In Chinese medicine, cordyceps is known as a yin and yang jing herb. So what this means is the yin is restorative or keeping in. It stores in energy. It helps replenish burnt out adrenals, exhaustion, fatigue, overstress. It helps adapt and cope with any stress in our life, any, any physical or mental or emotional stress or activity. It keeps us on top of our game. It's great for mental focus and concentration and just me just yeah mental focus concentration and alertness wellness. So it's it's, it's also really good for in a way your body mind spirit too because because of the the Jing components. Um, Jing is our primordial ancestral genetical strength and, and energy that we have. Because it restores this go-getting, the Jing also represents like go-getting male energy characteristics such as like go-getting, uh, ambition, drive, focus, will, going out there and doing things, completing tasks, having, but not only completing and doing and having the energy and confidence too, it's very good for confidence and feeling strong and standing up straight, feeling well in yourself. It's also good for starting projects, for creativity, for inspired projects. So that's where it's the body, mind, spirit herb in many ways. Because for me in my own life, I'm very much involved in both physical and spiritual, heaven and earth, um, the world and, um, and the non-physical. So cordyceps helps me to have everything that I said, everything that I said, and also the energy to have creativity and, and, to, f and to have inspiration, the, the, the energy to, ha to have the inspiration instead of feeling like really tired and sick and lying in bed or something, you know, just like feeling exhausted or depleted like how I actually used to be. And many people these days, almost everyone has suffered and suffers from the effect of stress to some degree, either mind and emotionally, but especially even just simply physically, like the world is a lot of contaminants and things. So. Cordyceps is a supremely adaptogenic herb helping us to deal with life stresses and unexpected events. So it helps you to become more adapt adaptive. Cordyceps has been shown to improve your ATP, which is your cellular energy, called um, adenosine triphosphate. By, I even read, as far as I remember, by up to as much as 30%. And your lung um, capacity and functioning and oxygen utilization by a very big percentage too. So for the purposes of having like greater lung capacity, increasing cellular ATP and increasing the utilization of oxygen, this is why obviously, this is the reasons, the scientific reasons why it gives you more strength, energy, endurance and stamina and like more power potency. Cordyceps, which has only been able to be grown in the last 15 to 20 years or so. Before that, it only grew in the wild and it was the most expensive herb in the world on the entire planet still is as far as I'm aware. It used to even be more expensive than gold, pound for pound, gram for gram. It was that rare and that valuable. In ancient China, only the king, the noble family, would be able to use cordyceps. Same with reishi mushroom. The other people weren't allowed. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's, it, it was originally in, does grow at just in, in Bhutan, or if that's the way it pronounced the country, especially, and, the, and along the Himalayas. That's its original What's, what's called the Tao, um, way, of, way of the earth, the original prime location where it naturally grows and is most potent. This goes for all herbs. For example, the D Tao of goji berries are in northwest China, along in the second highest mountain range in the world after the Himalayas called Heaven Mountain.
this is where you get the best, richest, most adaptogenic, most medicinal, powerful goji berries. And actually, they also taste the nicer too. So cordyceps usually just grows just below the snow line, just right below where the snow ends, and that's where it's collected. And uh, it's even even used to fetch as much as fifteen thousand dollars per kilogram. So um. More about the benefits of cordyceps. Yep, it's it's a very potent chi tonic, and that's what that's what I mentioned before. All the energy, that's your daily energy, your actual energy you have in the day. It's very very potent for that. It's brilliant. It's one of the best up there. Regarding Jing, it does help replenish our primordial ancestral genetical strength energy, which is known as your adaptive energy, sexual energy, adrenal energy, reserve energy. Stress is what wipes Jing out. Physical, mental, emotional, overdoing things excessively, excessive over overactivity, as w and giving birth, having la having a child uses up a lot of Jing, and that's why many women might have postpartum depression, or never really feel the same after having children, because it used ch having a child uses up a lot of Jing and also a lot of nutrients and uh, we have in our body, and maybe that's why also some women have like. Their teeth is affected after giving a birth because they use a lot of calcium and maybe magnesium or boron or other nutrients stored in our bones, a lot of minerals in our bones, and the teeth are bones. Ah, such a beautiful day here in Ireland. It's very cold, but it's beautiful. So what else? Um, cordyceps is brilliant for your immune system. It's like a very adaptogenic, helpful, immune modulating herb. It's just fantastic for your immune system. So you get cold or you get sick or colds less. Cordyceps will give you a lot of energy, so if you use up all that energy then it won't be a yin jing herb, i.e. it won't restore your jing. So keep a little bit spare of the energy you get from cordyceps to just rest and allow yourself to sink in and replenish your body from sickness, injury, operation or having a, having a, having a child for example. So. So in, in this Chinese medical system, cordyceps is yin jing, meaning restorative of jing, but also yang jing, which is the, the, the prime qualities of jing I mentioned, like you know mental concentration, focus, alertness, con um, confidence, ambition, go-getting, creativity, inspiration, drive, sex drive, confidence, etc. And physical energy too, so. Yeah, it's a very safe herb to use and I recommend trying it out. So if you'd like to try some, um, you can buy it on the internet in loads of different places, or I, I source. I have a good, a good, very good quality herb um, of cordyceps below. It's an extract powder. You can add hot water to it, or add it to your juices, or even just to, to warm or cold water, or even to your smoothies. But I probably recommend not adding it to a smoothie as in a really big dilution, but maybe to a juice, or else just warm water, or some like a tea. I, I have it as a tea. This doesn't destroy the, the qualities at all. In fact, the powder has already been extracted by water, so it originally was boiled already, which is fine. So good luck with that, and much love to your health. And in another video, I'll talk about lots of other things, so stay tuned and check out my other videos. And take care, God bless, and I'll see you again. Thanks, bye. Have a great day, okay? I wish you strength and best in life. You deserve it, by the way, you deserve it. So it's always so easy to forget things when you make these videos, so I'd like to just include something that I forgot, and that is that um, Jing energy is in Chinese medicine referred to as your kidney system, your kidney meridian system, and having a high Jing or a low Jing also relates to your ear health, your hearing, as well as the strength of your skeletal system and immune system, but skeletal system as in your bones, joints, tendons, etc. So it's typically associated with our renal system also, um, the, the jing, jing is kidney system. So jing is associated with your kidneys and your lower back, which is where your kidneys are located. So also um, your knees and just generally your joints. So that is one of the things. So that's that. They can be signs of low jing as well as like dark, dark um, things under your um, your eyes, which. In face reading, apparently that's also um, associated with your kidney, kidney health, which is your urinal, urinal health. So, 
so yeah it's if, if, you, if you have a, if you have a weak back or a weak kidneys or a weak joints or skeletal system then building up your jing is of prime importance and i'll just mention some of the other best jing yin jing building herbs would be goji berries phenomenal get the best ones from he heaven mountain or at least the, yeah that area is the best and tastiest goji berries goji berries hoshu wu i also sell these these at my store also hoshu is ridiculously good it helped me phenom enormously and um, what else um so cordyceps hoshu wu goji berries shizandra berry it's another phenomenal yin jing herb and deer antler and is also very good i haven't taken deer antler i've taken all the other ones and it's helped me phenomenally deer antler is another video on that it's uh, not a vegan product for those who are vegan careful but um yeah all of them are very powerful so take them all really or at least take one of them in a lot of proportions to recover from your your low jing or depletion um you want to take a lot of jing herbs basically the more you take basically the, the faster you'll get better so good luck again take care lots of love peace bye